how would you react if I told you that there was one video that changed the course of the internet and social media forever? Now, I'm sure that you have thought of different videos that this could be, and you could be right, but more than likely, if you were not around for what was described as the golden age of TikTok, then you might not know what I'm on about. Some of you might have said, me at the zoo, as this was the first video on YouTube. It was the catalyst for what we have today. However, I'm talking about something which changed the social media landscape forever. Now, you probably ask, Ethan, how could just one video change social media so drastically? Well, it all started with Vine being shut down in 2016 and the space that was once filled with great 7 second content was gone into a void. But from the ashes a phoenix arose, TikTok previously musically was launched in September 2016 just one month before Vine shut down. Now, TikTok was used briefly, but not a lot in terms of today's standards. It wasn't until late 2018 when things kicked off for the platform. Until the 10th of September 2018, when a user by the name of Nyan Nyan Cosplay posted what is now the most memorable TikTok ever made. This simple video was Kat, the creator, in a Love Live cosplay, with the iconic sound of Mia Khalifa diss track by I Love Friday. This now treasured 15 second clip has racked up just 7.7 .7 million views. However, it was a major catalyst in the success that TikTok has even today. This was due to it creating a new brand, a new era of videos, ironic videos. These type of videos drastically changed and went from people lip syncing, which was what was popular before the trend blew up, to people making fun of these very creators. The video in question is also a major player in blowing up certain celebrities, such as Lil Nas X. This is due to the influx of people who joined the app to see more of this content. There are memorable videos which spawned from the original video. Examples of these are I'm Already Tracer, Rockefeller Street, The Fairy War, Eagle Factory, Yee Yee Juice and many more. These types of videos blew up due to the now main audience having a humorous approach. This changed the scene in terms of where TikTok was heading as they didn't really change much despite rebranding. It stayed the same app with a different name but with the same content within. This now changed the TikTok hemisphere forever, as it felt like everything was connected in some way, like it was a big inside joke. Ironic TikToks took over the landscape for the golden age of 2018 to 2019 TikTok. Due to this newfound way of making videos became popular now with famous celebrity Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X created a trend called Yee Juice. This trend consists of someone taking a sip of a labelled drink, then the label is removed to show Yee Yee written on another note. The person in the video then transitions to being in a country themed outfit to match the song Old Town Road. These type of videos were very popular and amassed a lot of views. Due to the platform becoming ever so popular day after day, trend after trend, it allowed the songs to temporarily blow up. This in turn allowed for artists to gain notoriety and traction for having a viral video. Another artist that was affected by this boom was Lizzo, where her song Truth Hurts was used in 241,000 videos. As each trend started and finished, certain creators were left in the dust if they couldn't keep up with the quick, ever-changing trends. Certain creators would create new trends but would in turn die with them, as they would only blow up for that time frame when the trend is active. From trends changing, TikTok also affected viewers a lot more as the years went on. The algorithm would constantly be changing and recommending different things. Something that gained from this was the now popular funk genre of music, which became popularised from TikTok. This in turn helped music platforms where artists were now being recognised for what was an underground genre before TikTok blew it out of proportion. However, it wasn't all fun and games for these now up to 10 minute videos. The art of TikTok succeeding came from the ever evolving platform, with new features each month, something that Vine could not do. TikTok had captured a generation with its popular short form content, killing attention spans across the globe. You could find yourself getting lost for hours just endlessly scrolling, it doesn't take much brain power to keep scrolling through the For You page, 
Due to this newfound hold that TikTok had on the internet, every other platform decided that in order to compete with this new business model, they needed something similar. Hence, Instagram Reels, Snapchat Spotlight, YouTube Shorts, Facebook Reels, even Netflix had Quick Laughs, which is their own version of Reels. It's the plague that broke this generation. Innovation on social media platforms is usually in response to another platform to try and grasp a hold on the users. However, TikTok was so successful in their own lane that every other platform had to copy the formula to compete somewhat. But most of the content that is on these external sites is just TikToks. That's how popular they are. It's just going to promote people going to TikTok to check more. To conclude, TikTok has plagued the social media landscape with their short form content affecting attention spans across the globe. This all spanned from one video blowing up, the catalyst of social media, if you will. Thanks for watching this video today. A lot of effort has been put into research in this topic today. Make sure to clob at that like button and subscribe for future content. Make sure to put in the comments ideas for future videos if you like this one. If not, then tell me why not in the comments below. I've been Ethan, cheers.